Whoa, okay, hold up, hold up. Welcome back to Insomniac Reacts, the land of honest music reactions. Metallica fans, leave a comment right now. Let me know if you're excited or skeptical over what's about to happen. If you clicked on this video, I'm sure that you're curious about a jazz cover of Master of Puppets. Say what? I'm gonna just reserve judgment till I see this for the first time, but that's- it sounds interesting, we'll just put it like that. Big shout out to James Honey, who suggested the- oh man, it looks like I'm going to the liquor store. What the hell? Anyway, shout out to James Honey, who uh, put this on my radar. It's certainly not something I think I would have stumbled across. It's called Master of Puppets Jazz Cover by Robin Adele Anderson. Okay, let's just- let's hit the button. I don't think you should be able to get any of this out of Master of Puppets. So, I'm already starting on the skeptical level, but we'll see. Look at the, look at the face on this guy that, that's playing the trumpet here. He's the- everybody else here looks like they're having a little bit of fun with it. I don't think that guy's so sure. He might be a Metallica fan who's like, Oh my god, what the fuck are we doing? This <laughs> Look at that! Woo! Let's keep it going. Definitely interesting. The drummer's better than Lars. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you agree that Lars is the weak link of Metallica and always has been, and I'm not sure why they kept him. Let's continue. Okay, so, so far, I'll just give you my a small what's going on up here in the noggin. The whole band is very good. They're very talented, very tight. This is properly jazzy. Jazz hands! The singer's very good. The thing is, this is like, not only very swingy, but it's almost like she's trying to make Master of Puppets kind of sexy. Between her vocal phrasing and just literally the way she's trying to present it. I'm definitely on, on the fence about it still. I'm not making any verdicts here. Something here is not, you know, coming to together for me. But let's, let's see, they're not done. They're not done. An interesting arrangement, that's for sure. Ok, 
Okay. Let's get a breakdown. We're not getting a breakdown. Okay. Violin solo. Oh shit! Whoa, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, that's why I was fair and said I was on the fence still and wasn't making any final judgments. Because that whole change of pace, that switch up, followed by this violinist shredding the shit out of a solo, that changed the vibe quite a bit and now kind of has switched more to like a cover that is totally left field but acceptable for the song they're covering. That's... all right. Okay. Oh, now they're back to this. Okay. Let's we'll see how they wrap it. 10 points for that violin player. Drummer's definitely better than Lars, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be fair here, more than fair, and honestly leave this up to the comment section because I know how rabid Metallica fans can be. What I will say, I didn't hate it at all. First of all, it's very bold that they did a jazz cover of Master of Puppets. She's very good, she's very talented. I honestly don't think that vocal style or what she did at all actually fits Master of Puppets at all. But again, she's very good. It was a bold choice to even try it. The band was very, very good. And that one kind of switch up where they went into the solo section, like I said, Round of applause for the violin player, because that was actually like a killer shred solo out of violin. So not that I, I know that's possible, but that kind of really picked it back up a little bit for me here. Again, and really this all comes down to the fact that it's not just a jazz cover of some song. It's a jazz cover of Master of Puppets by one of the most iconic bands ever. So there's a certain expectation that comes with that. And I don't just mean of the parts or of the lyrics. They, they basically nailed all that in a jazzy way. The Master of Puppets has a certain energy to it, a certain kind of vibe and feel, and this was not it at all. So it kind of, it's very just, you kind of don't know what to feel about it. Unless you just take it very much surface of like, oh, that's cute, that's fun. Which is where I'm gonna kind of try to leave it. Cause like I said, I'm not personally offended in any way, but I, I really, really, I, I rarely do this, but I really want to leave this whole, like, usually I give you all my overview at the end. I really want to leave this up to the comments section this time. Just go off. Let me know down in the comments. That's, that's what I need to hear. If you want to see my reaction on another cover that I didn't think was going to make any sense, click here.